the building blocks for the web include these three um, components first we need to have a markup language for formatting the um, hypertext documents so in this case it is the hypertext markup language or HTML for a short then we need an addressing mechanism to uniquely um, reference objects which are located um, on the network and the notation that we um, end up using is called the uniform resource identifier or uniform resource locator finally we need to have a protocol that will allow us to transport the objects um, across the network so the application layer protocol which supports the web application is the hypertext transfer protocol or HTTP for short which we, as we will see is a simple request response protocol that is stateless in nature web pages contain objects they can be textual in nature or they can be hyperlinks to your images or videos to be able to access this um, objects we need a what you call a uniform resource identifier to be able to uniquely um, access it so this is the general form of the URI and it starts off with the um, scheme so the scheme represents the protocol that is being used to transport the object so the way the web was designed um, the web browsers are designed to work across different schemes so instead of HTTP S you can have FTP or your usual HTTP so there are different ways different protocols that you can use to transport the objects and the web browsers are designed to facilitate this following the protocol is your host name so this is the um, fully qualified host name or it can be an IP address to identify the host on which the resource is located followed by this we have a forge slash and the path um, within the document root of the web server where the um, resource lies and this is the name of the object that we are trying to request after the um, path you'll find that there is an optional set of parameters these are the URL parameters and it's marked by a semicolon so here is the URL parameter and this is generally used by servlets to identify for instance the um, session ID after this you have a question mark which starts the query string so this marks the start of the query string which is essentially a name value pair and when you have multiple name value pairs these are delineated by an ampersand sign here so here we have two name pairs and the last optional parameter that goes here is the anchor or which is or essentially the position within the document so here we are saying well give me the page with the browser focusing on the top section of the page